the whole earth was of one language and of one speech. It happened, as they traveled east, that they found a plain in the land of Shinar, and they lived there. They said one to another, Come, let's make brick and burn them thoroughly. They had brick for stone, and they used tar for mortar. They said, Come, let's build us a city and a tower, whose top reaches to the sky, and let's make us a name, lest we be scattered abroad on the surface of the whole earth. The Lord came down to see the city and the tower which the children of men built. The Lord said, Behold, they are one people, and they have all one language, and this is what they begin to do. Now nothing will be withheld from them which they intend to do. Come, let's go down, and there confuse their language, that they may not understand one another's speech. So the Lord scattered them abroad from there on the surface of all the earth. They stopped building the city. Therefore the name of it was called Babel, because the Lord confused the language of all the earth there. From there the Lord scattered them abroad on the surface of all the earth. This is the history of the generations of Shem. Shem was one hundred years old and became the father of Arpachshad two years after the flood. Shem lived after he became the father of Arpachshad five hundred years and became the father of sons and daughters. Arpachshad lived thirty-five years and became the father of Shelah. Arpachshad lived after he became the father of Shelah four hundred three years and became the father of sons and daughters. Shelah lived thirty years and became the father of Eber, and Shelah lived after he became the father of Eber four hundred three years and became the father of sons and daughters. Eber lived thirty-four years and became the father of Peleg. Eber lived after he became the father of Peleg four hundred thirty years and became the father of sons and daughters. Peleg lived thirty years and became the father of Reu. Peleg lived after he became the father of Reu two hundred nine years, and became the father of sons and daughters. Reu lived thirty-two years, and became the father of Serug. Reu lived after he became the father of Serug two hundred seven years, and became the father of sons and daughters. Serug lived thirty years, and became the father of Nahor. Serug lived after he became the father of Nahor two hundred years, and became the father of sons and daughters. Nahor lived twenty-nine years and became the father of Terah. Nahor lived after he became the father of Terah one hundred nineteen years and became the father of sons and daughters. Terah lived seventy years and became the father of Abram, Nahor, and Haran. Now this is the history of the generations of Terah. Terah became the father of Abram, Nahor, and Haran. Haran became the father of Lot. Aran died before his father Terah in the land of his birth, in Ur of the Chaldees. Abram and Nahor took wives. The name of Abram's wife was Sarai, and the name of Nahor's wife Milcah, the daughter of Haran, who was also the father of Iska. Sarai was barren. She had no child. Terah took Abram his son, Lot the son of Haran his son's son, and Sarai his daughter-in-law, his son Abram's wife. They went forth from Ur of the Chaldees to go into the land of Canaan. They came to Haran and lived there. The days of Terah were two hundred five years. Terah died in Haran.